So when we're talking about a boot, and specifically a mountain hunting boot, there's a number of things that I take into consideration. So starting from the bottom up, the sole. The sole has to be grippy, which means it has to be soft enough that it grips the rock, but not too soft that you wear it out in a season, or too hard that you slide off of things. That is super important to start off with. And with that sole, you also want it to be walkable. So you wanna be able to walk for miles on end without fatiguing your feet. Now that doesn't matter whether you've got you know, a 20 pound day pack or a 100 pound pack full of game. We were up on the mountain last night, coming off that mountain with a goat in your backpack. You have to have a quality boot that is gonna be able to handle that under all those conditions, whether it's snow, you know, water, whatever. And then a full rubber rand around that sole. Now, the full rubber rand, that's just a no-brainer in that you want the protection all the way around the boot. Because if you're edging on the rock, you know, you're jamming it into cracks, you don't want that boot to be falling apart, you know, halfway through your hunt. Because that full rubber rand really protects the mid size of the boot, which often takes a pounding. Then you move up a little bit higher into the stiffness and height of the boot. You want a boot that is stiff, but not too stiff that you can't walk in. Again, you can't flex your ankle. Having a boot that covers all of these things is very challenging. Then when you have a boot that is solid, because if you have a 100 pound pack on your back, you do not want to be rolling an ankle and you need a good stiff boot that you can actually walk in. And then onto the waterproofness. Waterproofness is huge in country like this. Yesterday, coming off the mountain, everything we had was soaking wet. And if you're cold and you're wet, then obviously it's way more miserable. I don't go with a boot that's not using Gore-Tex. I've used a number of boots that haven't used that and they've absolutely failed. So for me, that's a priority. I look at the boot, is it using Gore-Tex? Number one, yes, okay. So now I know it's gonna be waterproof and then goes to warmth. In our conditions, you know, early September here or even August, it can be cold, everything is wet. You want a boot that is gonna keep you warm and let you move through the hunt without having to worry about your feet freezing all day. You put all those factors together, it really captures everything that I need in a boot. So if you find a boot like that that works for you, stick with it because that's what I've done.